Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 17, verses 20 to 26. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may be all one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. It makes sense to me that the genuine expression of love, which involves sacrifice, altruism, benevolence, anything that transcends self-interest, is divine. The law of nature which governs the animal kingdom, where it's a dog-eat-dog world, serves as a testament. However, as human beings we have encoded within us the governing systems that rule both the animal world and the divine realm. What I mean by this is that we all have the ability to act in accordance of self-preservation as well as working for the common good, even if it is at a great cost to the self. And the latter has never been so perfectly carried out than in the life of Jesus Christ, where his two natures, divine and human, was in such perfect harmony. So as we hear from St. John today, Jesus' mission is for all of us to reflect the divine love which is constantly being beamed to us by God. An image that I find helpful is that of a luminous relationship between the sun and the moon. The light source that illuminates the moon is not from the moon itself, but from the sun. As such, we are mirrors that reflect the love of God in this world. So let us continue to maintain that reflective quality in order that our behaviors and actions can continue to illuminate this world with God's love. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and luminous day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marynollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.